Statistics tell us that one in every five women mm. have experienced some form of sexual abuse at some point in their lives. That is a very alarming figure. One in every you know, five. five. And you'd come to even know that you think that sexual abuse is usually a female thing. The male says that yeah. one in every 71 men, mm -hmm. that is a high figure. So we take 71 men at random, at least one of them has been abused sexually. The unfortunate thing on our, in, on our part of the world, especially in Ghana, you know, I think our first episode where we're talking about general sexual health issues, we mentioned rape. I left the episode and one of my legal friends called me and said, actually men in Ghana cannot be raped. And I was sad to find out. Really? Yeah, so if, if you're a man in Ghana and somebody has sex with you without your consent, it is still not regarded as rape. What and is, so you get no what justice is it? for it. They said rape what? can only be perpetrated by people who have a penis. How? Is that the dictionary definition of That rape? is what the lawyers are telling me. Wow. So I left the show and the lawyers called me and said, oh, I shouldn't have said that men can be raped because men cannot be raped in Ghana. So what, what's that act when a woman forces themselves on a man? They just believe it's sexual assault. So you can tell me rape. So you may not get the justice that you actually need for it just because you're a man and you have a penis. Just because God created you like that. I think society should move away yes, from this. And, and I was like, no, I think that the law is... Yes, they, yes, they, yes, they have to, to reveal, yes. yes. Because a lot of men are taking advantage of us. Well, it's not just about we, the women. And, so and is, it, is it a societal stigma as well? So yes. it's been quiet for a long, a long time. time. Yes. you find out that over 70% of sexual trauma issues are not reported. The male side of it, or both generally, generally, over seventy percent are not reported. Over 70%. That is a lot. So just thirty percent are being reported, and so it tells us that even what we think is that we perceive as a problem, we have a, a, an even bigger problem on our hands. Mm -hmm. Because if more than two thirds are not being reported, reported, then we have a bigger problem on our hands. Maybe because of the lack of knowledge, before the person grows up and realizes that mm -hmm. mm -mm, this act was sexual yeah. abuse, because yeah. you know that the family setting. Yeah. How comfortable is a child? Yeah going to tell and then the threats the threats and you, you know one time i had a little girl about 19 mm -hmm. who was pregnant uh, she came to the hospital only for me to find out that she had been uh, abused by her neighbor's son and then i asked the mother did you report this incident the mother said oh where they say if you are sick like this is exactly. your daughter's life we are talking about yeah and you people decided to just sit in the house and settle it in the house just because you're trying to maintain some form of peace yeah. that is what happens especially that is something that will just pass, pass. You know, so people usually like to settle it and not, you know, make a big deal out of it. Meanwhile, the victims of these actions are really suffering. And then sometimes their lives take a turn forever. Some of them will take a very long time to even get to recovery. Do some ever heal even? Some people never heal. Hmm. Some people never heal. A good number of people, if they use the right forms of treatment, they can heal. Hmm. But for most people who are, are seeking no help, no treatment, some of them will carry this baggage to their graves. Wow. Yeah. How, how